Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got another trade recap. This time it's Yusei Kikuchi heading to Houston for three prospects. This is a what everybody thinks is a big overpay here. Um, they must have they must see something in Yusei Kikuchi that the rest of the world doesn't at this point. Uh Kikuchi was really good in the first half of the season. He's been kind of rough of late. Um, but this is the return. It's gonna be Jake Bloss, who's already Spent some time in the major leagues. Joey Loperfito, who also has had some major league uh, time, and Will Wagner. So three prospects for a guy that's going to be a rental. Uh, let's head over to the Jays system while we do that. Blake, as a Jays fan, how are we feeling about this trade? Yeah, this is a great trade. This is an absolute slam dunk move for Ross Atkins. Uh, with Ross Atkins' deadline, he might have just bought him another year, to be honest. He might have saved his job with this deadline. Um, the Jays have added eight prospects to their top 30 Bloss slots in at number three. Uh, he's been really good. He's gotten touched up. He's only made three starts to majors. It hasn't gone well, but across 13 games from a ball to triple a one, six, four ERA. So there's, he's obviously got really good stuff. Uh, low Profito, um, has spent some time in the majors as well. 236 average. Um, he's ha had some pop in triple a, um, so obviously they're getting a left-handed bat. Um, I don't think it's a coincidence that most of the guys the Jays have traded for have been left-handed. I think that's by design because they've been heavily right-handed uh, the last decade or so. And then obviously with Will Wagner, uh, it's a high average guy in AAA, uh, batting 307. So a really, really nice trade. I mean, most of, this, most of the things that I've been reading have been, wow, what an overpay. Um, great move for the Jays. So um, I'm not used to seeing that from, from uh, this management. Uh, they made some pretty bad trades, but this has got to be up there for Ross Atkins as one of the best trades that he's made. Obviously, prospects are prospects. You don't know if they're going to pan out or not, obviously. But uh, for a guy like Kikuchi, who has had a seven, uh, seven four five ERA in his last seven starts with a lot of walks, a lot of homers allowed, this is a great trade for the Jays. Yeah, and something that can shouldn't go unnoticed. Uh, James Click, the former. GM of the Houston Astros. Yep. He's, uh, I believe, president of baseball ops for the Jays now. Yep. So, <laughs> served a suspension, and he just traded from a farm that he knows, like the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. Um, The Astro system is one of the worst in the game. Yep. So, interesting to see them move three pieces for a rental. You know, it is what it is. I'm not going to hate on the Houston Astros because they make it to the ALCS every year. So, they, they usually but win these things. do you think things. they have... Do you think they have in mind, like, hey, we'll give this up if we can try to extend Kikuchi? Like, maybe that justifies it a little bit if they if they're able to extend him this winter. But yeah, it's been a it's been a rough go post all -star, post All Star break for Kikuchi. Yeah, and uh, you know, I wasn't gonna bring this up, Astros fans, but uh, <laughs> we did a little extra digging. I thought maybe you know what, maybe his unreal numbers in in Houston. He has a career 7-7-1 seven, seven, <laughs> ERA at Minute Maid Park. Now, the Astros were loaded while he was with Seattle. That's yeah. a division rival right there. Mm -hmm. But a 7-7-1 seven, seven, in your park and a guy that gives up a lot of homers in a small ballpark, he's going to cape. He's going to cape, you know, batters as well. 130 strikeouts and 115 innings. Strikeouts are going to be there. It's just, can we limp the walks? Can we limp the homers? Yep. Um. Yeah. Interesting, interesting trade. I don't know what what to make of it. Astros fans, if you like this trade or why you why we should like this trade, let us know in the comments below because I want to hear from Astros yeah, fans it's, uh, how you're feeling. Obviously, he's got a he throws 98 from the left side. Like it's one of the yeah. fastest uh velocities from the left side in the league. Obviously, they like that. Um and he's he's learned. I wouldn't I wouldn't say he's learned how to pitch the last two years. But from where the Jays were with Yusei Kikuchi in year one of a three-year contract to where he is now has been night and day. He's got rid of his cutter, he's developed a changeup, and he's got a wipeout slider. So you can throw 98 from the left side, you got he developed a nice little changeup, got the wipeout slider. It, they, honestly, I think what they did is what they did with Robbie Ray in 2021, they pretty much cut and pasted that to Kikuchi. And it's been the same stuff. Hard fastballs. Slider, just a, he's pretty much a two pitch pitcher now with the with the changeup sprinkled in there. So I I think I think he'll be fine with Houston. 
obviously he better be fine because that's a lot to give up for two months of a rental if that's the case. So um, good move for the Astros, uh, getting a guy that that can strike out a lot of guys. But for the Jays here to replenish their system, 28th ranked system in the league. Right now, it might be middle of the pack now with all this work they've done. So credit to the Blue Jays. They've done awesome. All right. That's going to do it for this one. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Later.